recognize her, singer Yvonne Chaka Chaka. And today, we are in the Western Kenyan district of Kakamega. We want to combat malaria, we want to combat AIDS, we want to combat diarrhea, because our ordinary people are dying. As a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador, Yvonne has joined forces with CHF International, the Centers for Disease Control, the Kenyan Ministry of Health, and the Swiss-based medical technology firm, Vestergaard Franson, to get the word out. It's time to be tested for HIV. I want to invite you at the end of this function to just come to come and test. If you test, you're doing yourself a favor, you're doing your community a favor, you're doing your family a favor. More than 47,000 people turned up for this massive public health campaign. And while it has a carnival atmosphere, what is going on here is dead serious. But also, we shall do a lot of public good it's a multifaceted attack against this region's top three killers, HIV AIDS, malaria, and waterborne diarrheal disease. We're giving everybody a free bed net, free water filter, and free condoms to come in and be tested, and this has never been done before. CHF has partnered with Vestergaard Franson to hand out these insecticide-treated bed nets, water purifiers, and condoms in hopes of enticing people to take an AIDS test. CHF hired and trained close to 400 health counselors for this event. And who knows whether it is Yvonne singing, the deputy prime minister's dancing, or the two-month public awareness campaign, but almost no one refuses the test. The advertisements and everything, the way the whole thing has taken place, I have really liked it. And even the, 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 the lessons and the teachings that have taken place, I have liked them so much. Water filter and net are very good things to me because the net will help me to avoid getting malaria all the time. Sarah Labutsi is a pastor who thinks her husband died of a stroke a few years back but she is very worried it was AIDS. In the testing room, she is tense. But for her, there is relief. The test is negative. I'm very happy with my results because uh, my husband has passed away and uh, he had no, he had no virus, he had, he had no AIDS. Pia, he left me without, and I'm um, okay. CHF and health experts really want to reach young, unattached men like Daniel Openda, because most don't want to be tested. He watches with some discomfort as the counselor demonstrates how to apply a condom. He's never seen one. And he is very nervous about the AIDS test. Sorry? Negative. Negative, Kumanisha? I'm safe. <laughs> but Daniel is also I'm HIV negative. I'm happy. <laughs> the problem is only 36% of Kenya's population has been tested. The mandate is to test 80% by 2010. It's important because during this campaign alone, almost 2,000 tested positive for HIV in Kakamega. Epidemiologist Dr. Eric Lugata is CHF's country director in Kenya. He says addressing malaria, HIV, and waterborne illness all at once is a model for treating disease in Africa. And the information being assembled here is invaluable. Because it will give them real hard data on which they can design targeted interventions. CHF and Vestergaard Franson are also doing follow-up research. Do people use the bed nets? Are they effective? How about the water filters? Are they too much trouble? Daniel makes the trip down a steep ravine to this river three times a day to collect water for his family. It is already 15 minutes round trip. Will he add yet another step to this process? It's good. 
That LifeStraw water filter, health experts say, removes almost 100% of bacteria from untreated, unprocessed water like this. I can see now it is, it is easy to use. Another convert. CHF is pleased, and of course, so is our partner in this project, manufacturer Vestergaard Franson. Public-private partnerships is something that we've been doing a long time. You're looking for people who share a common goal. Everything goes together if you, if you match it in a way that works. Good health has everything to do with development, I think, because the healthy person can be a productive person, can contribute to the economy, can learn, can take on education, does not cost so much in terms of potential lost resource or asset. Somebody once said that the, the measure of a civilized country is how they take care of their most vulnerable. 